Hello, and welcome to your ninth C++ lesson on increment and decrement operators. Uh, basically, they're really, 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 really easy. So this should be quite a short lesson. Incrementing is just adding one to a variable, and decrementing is just taking away one. How simple is that? So basically, instead of saying, uh, let's just create a new variable. I always do this. Int var1 equals 1 and I'm going to see out var1 and line I'm just going to go var1 plus plus and that just means add 1 to var1 and notice we put the plus plus at the end you can put the plus plus at the beginning and I'm going to explain the, difference, um, the differences of putting at the end and the beginning at the end of this lesson so then we're going to add 1 and then we're just going to Output again, and that's obviously an output too. I'm not even sure if you need proof for that, but I'll do it anyway, just in case you didn't believe me. <laughs> Errors. Oh no, what have I done? Oh yeah, sorry. You need a semicolon. Remember to end the line with a semicolon. There we go. One, two. Okay, that was pretty simple. So, what we can also do is you can shove these anywhere. So, I could say C out var one. And then see out var1 plus plus. And basically, this is gonna actually no, I'll put it at the beginning. And you'll see why I've done this in a minute. So see out var1, see out plus plus var1. So it's gonna output 1, 2 again. There we go. And that's increment that's incrementing. It basically saves us from saying var1 equals var1 plus 1. And it's a lot easier. So let's just move into decrementing. We can do the same thing. So minus minus. It's going to do one zero. And you know we can also take this out and shove it there and make sure we do the semicolon. And it's still going to say one zero. There we go. Um, so now we're going to move into the differences of postfix and prefix. So, first of all, if you didn't know what I'm talking about, postfix is the one at the end, prefix is the one at the start. So, let's just go back to this code for a second. So, see out var1, and then what I was going to do first, before I realized it wouldn't work, was going to go see out var1 plus plus. Now, because it's at the end, it adds it afterwards. So, what it would do is it would say 1, 1, and then var1 and change to 2. But that's not used to us, because we wanted to output 2. Uh, just to show you, if I debug this, 1, 1. But if I added another C out statement for var1, then it's going to say 1, 1, 2. 1, 1, 2. There we go. Um, but then if we did decide to do it at the start, then it would um, obviously do it before it actually outputs the variable. So it's all pretty simple stuff, really. That is the end of this lesson. Uh, note these are extremely useful in while loops, and we have used them in while loops before. You'll also come across them again when we do for loops, and you'll just you'll meet them again and again and again. They're really common, they're really useful, and they're short and easy to use. That's the end of this lesson. Have a nice day.